wearing full BDSM camp outfits. I'll boob for a sec. Boob. Easy. I don't. I think they're all using us, chat. It's a heroic fantasy in verse form, told in the first person by bold poet who challenges the devil, clearly modeled on Raphael to improvise poetry contest to win back the soul of his lover. The following couplet has been circled in red ink. If the line doesn't scan, the devil sneers. You forfeit your soul and end in tears. Ha! I'll keep mine. Uh, I'll keep my time and make my rhyme with vim and snap. And no down came. And no down came the claw crap. Dun, dun, dun. Supplication scrapbook. The scrapbook collection uh, is, this is a scrapbook collecting supplication notes and letters from mortals to Raphael begging for boons, help, and assistance. Margin notes call out the devil's favorites as in this example. Uh, says she wants her siblings out of the way so she can take full control of the family business only so their late mother will be promptly, uh, properly honored by its efficiency and profitability. How utterly disingenuous. One has to admire it. There's a profit for me uh, in taking her gnarly little soul. Helping her would be sheer indulgence. But if I'm not indulging myself, why bother with any of this? True. TBH. That's some neat BDSM outfits. Leathery garb. Vision plan for Baldur's Gate. I've seen that before. Isn't this the same? Different color. All right. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, we've read those. Right, another dog collar. Uh oh, there's a drop them back in it. Oh, fuck's sake. I might just send them to a uh, car lack. BDSM outfit. Boo, boo, boo. Meow, 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 meow. Okay. Not just souls for a bit. Carlac. We're kind of done in here. Well, I guess we haven't looted his, uh, Really, with all those buffs and cat's grace. <coughs> I don't know why I'm opening this, though, to be fair. I don't gain anything from it. I just need to loot the room Raphael is in now. Silver chalice. There doesn't really seem to be much in here. Silver cake stand. Some incense. going on, buddy? Listen, I just uh, need this stuff to get by, right? Would you be willing to make our deal for this one silver chalice? Does he have anything else to say? My favorite future clients! Are you ready to... No deal. Still... I'll wait. Alright. I don't know if I just attack him. He's probably super strong. Need to ding the roo a bit. Okay. Robron Silt, Velson Oaks, Thondrick, I tried it with him, and with Quelia, that was the cook. Speak to Voss, oh yeah, sure, we gotta go talk to Voss now. Oh no, there's, there's more to this, of course, I forgot about that. He's gonna want us to obviously free Orpheus. Vendor. Early or late act one, I think the that old lady in the mountain pass that wants the egg as well, cares, if I remember correctly. I have something to ask. 
Tell me you took the devil's deal. Tell me you will free Gith's heir. Uh, oh shit, we could deceive him. Raphael did not offer any bargain. I'm not interested in pacting with devils, Voss. Oof, do we deceive him, chat? This was a bad idea. We should not have tried to deceive him, chat. Do you take me for a fool? The devil may speak in poetry, but his purpose was crystal clear. Did you make the bargain? I'm not interested in pacting with devils, Voss. Shkaketh! Orpheus will be free. There is no cost too high to unshackle my people. Don't worry, I will find a way to liberate Orpheus. It's not my cost to pay. Figure it out yourself. Orpheus wants a powerful crown and trade. Who knows what chaos he might sow? No more than Vlakith will sow in Tunarath and beyond. No more than the Geich will sow across every plain. There is nothing I won't do, nothing I won't give to free Orpheus from the prison. The marks I bear are proof enough of that. But you, you are the one who carries the astral prism. You are the one who must free the prince. Find a way to retrieve the hammer and free Orpheus from the prism. I will assemble his remaining honor guard and plan our next actions. Together, we will yet free the true heir of Gith's blessed empire. He will free us from Vlakith and lead our Kithraki against the Geich. His dick. I will wait in the underground. His dick? Seek me when you have the hammer in hand. Orpheus sensed the tadpole before and his guard attacked. Won't he attack if we free him? The prince of the comet aches for Gith Yankee liberation more than he abhors Geich. He might seethe when you free him. He might gnash his teeth and slander your name. But he will see reason. I promise you. And idiot Raphael might keep the Orphic, Orphic hammer. A devil of Raphael's stature does not simply make camp on the shores of the Styx. He will have made a sanctuary for himself, a lavish one too, one that caters to his many vices. He must keep the Orphic hammer there. Every house has an entrance, Istik. Even those in the hells. You must find it. Leave. You are wasting your time and mine. Our true enemy is the Elder Brain. Focus your mind there. There's nothing else to say. He won't talk to me anymore. All right. Oh, that's quite a lot of stuff, Jen. Hey. You paid Raphael a visit. I want to hear... Come here. I'm not going to start an argument. I just want to know why you turned the boss down. Uh, it doesn't matter why my word is final, no deal. Did he tell you to try and win me over with your charms? I'm still considering my options. Cheeky. We might be in a brothel, but I'm not that kind of gal. You should reconsider, though. The boss might be a devil, but he'll treat you more honestly than anyone else in the city. What exactly is it you do for him? I doubt that. There are plenty of good people here. Maybe you're right. Bullshit. Plenty. But right now, I have one job. You. Oh I'm talking to you openly. Mortal to mortal. And I'm begging you to sign the contract. If the brain wins, the Illithid Empire returns and worlds you've never even dreamed of will die. Raphael can stop it. He wants to. And he knows how. You're the key. You always have been. Then why make demands of me instead of just helping? I'll stop the brain without his help. I don't believe the devil cares about the fate of the world. He's a devil. It's his nature. He needs to get his due. His mountain due? I don't believe a devil cares about the fate of the world. I won't pretend he's an altruist. But he's looked at the balance it's sheet. It's super good shotgun, man. No I mean. world, no souls. 
And it's hard to get leverage on an illithid. They make terrible clients. I'm not convinced they'll stop the rain without his help. I doubt it. But even if you do, you won't survive the fight. I'd reconsider if I were you. Okay, annoying sidekick lady that just showed up with this act. Shut your Which means we're getting a mouth. real room. Uh, oh, right. That was the barkeep. That was the other vendor. And one more vendor here. You look like someone whose soul needs feeding. Care to buy some art? I'll take a look. Ah, yes. This is some exquisite bullshit here. Indeed. Might have so many vendors, though. Did we read the infernal contracts and bargains? I'll have a look at it later, RCB. Reading through those again right now. I think we did. I think we did. Selling BDSM outfits. Do, 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 do. Cool. <clears throat> the sauce! Again. Thank you for the new Prime sub, man, and welcome. Welcome to Late Night Talks with the Devil. Threesomes with Drow Twins. Oh, God, oh, no. Oof, oof. Let's click that back. I mean, I did click it. I just clicked it off quickly enough. Uh, this is all stealing. Decide to accept or refuse Raphael's deal? Wait, why is that up here? Raphael. Oh, right, because the room wrapped over. Gotcha. Right, right, right. What's that? And that. She follows you the whole game? I mean, I haven't seen her yet, so to me, it, it, she has just shown up now. If you're here to shop, just buy what's needed, all right? Some people are panic buying. Let's not add to the problem. I'm sure one of those rugby hats. Why is everyone acting so normal? The Absolute's armies are coming. We need to stock up. Yoink. That goes up to the, uh... If you are in need of some pleasurable assistance, might I direct you to Charesse's caress? I only deal with referrals. I'm, uh, I'm not doing anything. I mean, uh, good day to you. That guy's the epitome of sketch. Nervous sketchiness. That was like so cool, dude. Super cool. Now well, this doesn't look like it's anything. Foogies. Looks great. Feels like him. No. This is all stealing. Probably anything we need, anyways. Maybe. I kind of just need everything, though, let's be honest. And well, I need everything. More mechanical men. Hello. Sorry about the, uh, oh, they don't know that I killed their buddies. Greetings, sirs. Oh, she. Not this again. Those earthquakes are getting. The brain appears to be resisting. 
its masters. It's acting of its own will. Oh boy. Oh boy. Need something? Is that anti ethel sister? For any job. Any job. Okay. Can you back up a bit, lady? Your breath smells. These are the tools for any job? Whatever you're working on. Okay. If it ain't broke, it's because we already helped you. My mate got thrown by a steel watcher. Lucky bugger. The trajectory was perfection. What? Do you still watch a fan too? What is it? Quakes? Apparently, the other uh, brain the resisting. Excuse me, we're discussing steel watcher gyronetics. A topic beyond your understanding, I imagine. <laughs> Black Lord. Calms, calms. Clothing shop. Did you see how far that watch is through me? I got it. I got it. That is indeed a clothing shop. Hello, hi, over here. Put him on. Put him on. Is this the co character? Put what up? What do you want? Brace for a fight. Yay! You spoke to me! Nobody ever talks to me! Your fist, silly. I'm trying something out. My name's Narber. Adventure this is the co character. To be, to be the best adventure anyone's ever seen. As soon as I figure out what kind of adventure I want to be. What do you think? Can I be a fighter? Why don't you actually fight me and I'll tell you? Here's a tip to get you started. Less talking, more fighting. Follow your dreams and find out. Maybe pick a different career. I could not give less of a shit. Walk away. Oh. Uh, all right, then. Uh, sorry to bother you. All right. Well, that was quick. The car in Walmart look good. Oh, hi, stranger. Thanks for stopping by Calm's Garms. I'm Calm. Well, Calm Men. <laughs> <laughs> what can I do you for? You got quite uh, the pattern nailed, Carmen. You've not quite got the pattern nailed, Carmen. Ugh. If it's empty patty you want, get your clothes from a brother, Figaro. But if it's genuine quality and genuine taste you're after, Calm's Garms has you covered. Let's take a look at yours. Your brother's in danger. I found his name on a serial killer's list. Oh, did we? Probably should have screenshotted that list, actually. A killer? That's... God. I have no love from my brother, but that's extreme. He doesn't deserve that. Thanks for warning me. But it's him that needs warning, and he never listens to me. So you don't get on with your brother? You wouldn't either, if you knew him like I did. Since Dad died, he thinks he's cock of the bloody walk. That I should give up my shop and work for family business. For him, dick. <laughs> uh, I'll take a look at your wares. If your girl wanted a sister close, you just lost your dad after all. Maybe you should keep your nose out of where it doesn't bloody belong. Now, you want clothes or not? Seems nice. Sounds good. Get you something a bit... Fresher than your current outfit. Ooh, that's a lot of clothing. Right. Remember. Nothing else there. A sequined adornment could the claim needle, the a book. Spark. Scented letter, letter for Figaro, silver tray. Ideas for new outfits. Did you technically see through that or no? Right, let's see what the co character has to say and we'll exhaust this dialogue too. your pants did you did you uh, let me guess you decided to try being a barbarian that's right you got it yay so how did I do are you quaking in your boots with fear not even slightly uh, appreciate the honesty oh oh well back to the narbing board Uh, 
tickets are free. You have got to check out Dan Thelon's dancing axe. Their leather work is amazing. Wait, that's where the Harpers are. All right. Don't forget to. I'd love to chat, but I've got a suit to find. Who knew buying something so simple would take the bones of a day? Mm, yes, quite. Apparently we're not allowed to get in these doors or we'll get in trouble. But we could just go here. Okay. I'm kind of scared I'm going to get stuck and fall off. There we go. That's the second time that little jump glitch has happened. Green die, sent to camp. Should be nobody here that gets pissed at me. Thirty-seven. Where the hell are we? Random wine cellar or something? In fact, I think that's exactly what it is. Well, man, too much. Damn, we got through the joke. An apple a day keeps the absolute away. Oh. I'm cucumbered. Wait, how? Didn't we just sell a bunch of shit? This just does not help. Sent to camp. Our bags are always so goddamn full, man. Shut up, heart. Some of those books gotta go too. Uh, a kiwi. Is there actually anything useful in here? Some wine. Some camp supplies, really. Oh, there's a chest here. With? Nothing too exciting in it. This looked like it was going to be a little more interesting. In terms of what secrets we might find there, it was not. This is the, uh, yeah, this is the whorehouse above us. Okay. So we just have this establishment. And then we got to cross the bridge, which we have. Wait, there's stuff down here, too. Which connects to where? Can we jump from there to there to there? And then make our way around? I mean, we have like five tickets or whatever to get in town, right? Lower city. I'll start playing. Are you starting today? I hope you like it. Okay, so the Harpers should be in here, apparently. Welcome to Danthilon's Dancing Axe. Our stock isn't used, it's tried and tested by the finest adventurers. Don't draw any trouble on old Enthar. He acts like he's up for it, but he's retired for a reason. Okay. You break it, you... Well, knowing Enthar, it was already broken. Greetings, sir. Your noble bearing brings a little class to my humble... Mm. Oh, you can turn off the charm, Enthral. He's with me. <laughs> Blueberries. Thought I had a sale. You look tired, Harper. I missed you too. They're already here? Down below. Here's the key. 
We were looking for a safe house. This doesn't look like one. Agreed. Didn't stop to hear his lot from nesting in my cellar. <laughs> <laughs> in Farrell's no harper. In claims no love for those who are. But he's been known to shelter us when we need it. Entarl has been known to charge rent. Harpers have been known to ignore him. Now go on. The short father may send me an actual paying customer today. The short father? Wait, I don't look at your stock. To buy? You're already my favorite. <laughs> oh shit, dude. He's got stuff. Real stuff. Targets have disadvantage on saving throws against your maneuver and weapon actions. Yeah, attack plus one. Maneuver. Hmm. That's just the attack plus one I'd be interested in, but... You gain plus two to attack rolls when attacking creatures that have already taken damage. Unarmed and melee attacks will deal an extra two necrotic damage as long as you don't have your full health. If you don't deal any damage this turn, you take one to four necrotic damage at the end of your turn. Pretty good. That's pretty good, chat. I mean, it's certainly better than what we're wearing. And her. Hers is fine. Hers is fine. It'd definitely be good for one of her melee. She usually doesn't have full health. She's tanking, has a lot of health. Yeah, I'll probably grab this. It's only 690 as well. Uh, attacking gnomes or doors with this weapon receives a 1d4 to attack and damage. When this weapon lands at critical, it also slows the creature. Enchantment plus one. Plus the attack rolls nice, yeah. Yes, it is. Your unarmed attacks deal an additional one to four cold damage. Beginning of the wearer's turn, the cloak activates, granting enemies disadvantage on attack rolls uh, that target the wearer. This effect lasts until the wearer takes damage. So the beginning of every turn? Holy, oh, dude. That's good. I don't want that too. Heavy armor, medium armor, plus two. Take two less piercing. 17. Oh, medium. Oh, I'm not going to replace that. Maybe that, though. I mean, it's just literally an upgrade. One AC more on her. While well, using patient defense, focusing on avoiding attacks, uh, attack rolls against the affected. Entity of disadvantage, and the entity has advantage on dexterity saving throws. You also benefit from Blade Ward. While using Step of the Wind, your next attack roll is advantage and deals an additional 1 to 8 force armor class plus 1. 